to show you what I got in my show bags at the Melbourne show because we don't have this kind of thing in the UK and I was really excited to see these. I spent ages trying to pick which ones I wanted and I think I've picked the two that I think were best value. So the first one I got was from Tilly. Number one, the bag just sold it for me. They were out of the black one, but I actually prefer the tan. So this will be my new work bag, I think. But inside there's loads in this one. I got some drinking chocolate with caffeine in, which Rob Mike like to replace his energy drinks. He can have a hot chocolate in the morning with some caffeine. And then I got some Dettol antibacterial spray. Some Tony and Guy dry shampoo, which I actually use this at home, so I do really like that. A Venus razor. This was one of the things that I knew was a high ticket item in here, so I was really happy to get that. Um, this was also one of the things I wanted. Um, an Olay cleansing device. I think it spins on your face to remove your makeup, and it comes with the cleanser in it as well. Put that side. Um, some chamomile tea bags. I'll give them a try. Some white glow whitening toothpaste. This bag is never ending. Um, what is this? Oh, some dark chocolate. Nice little snack. Some minis of the purple Tony and Guy shampoo and conditioner. Not for me because I don't have blonde hair anymore, but I guess Rob can use them, make his hair a little bit blonder. Um, some craisins, dried cranberries. They might be a good snack for on the way to the airport. Um, some Dettol hand sanitizer, always good when traveling. And then what else is in here? This is like a little makeup bag. I've got a choice of two colors and I chose to get the green leopard print because I thought it was a bit nicer. And then the huge thing that's weighing the bag down and I'm a bit worried about putting in my suitcase is a big A4 notebook but really handy for work and I like that it's got dividing slips which is really handy so no really happy with that bag and I think for oh 30 dollars you can't go wrong with that so it was 17 pound ish really good wouldn't get this kind of value anywhere in the UK next we have the one from Lulu I got this one for this in particular which is the NYX lip cream vault so I already used the NYX lip creams so I just thought it was really good to get them in all the colors I have seen this in the UK but it was like 70 pound in the UK um, at Christmas last year I think it did go on sale for half price but even then still so good to get it in this set so I'm really happy with that I then got a dress if I can open it, which you never know, it might be warm enough in Melbourne to wear it tomorrow, I doubt it, but we'll never know, just a plain striped dress, very nice for summer, then what else is in here, there's some more of these Dettol, I think there's two of them, yep, another one of them Dettol hand sanitizers, I can attach one to Rob's backpack for the way home as well, some more glow toothpaste, some highlighters this time which will be really handy for work some pack of two facial wipes can take them on the plane so that'll be good to remove my makeup on the plane some face masks again really handy for the plane I can probably take them on with me and use them I did use an Australian one on the plane here and it was really nice then the slightly odd thing to get into these which I thought was a little bit weird, but pack of tampons, every girl needs them. And a pair of reusable pants, but we'll skip past them. <laughs> and then the bag, which is a nice little green, sage green colour, really nice. And that was $30 as well. So again, like £17. Just for that alone, I would have paid £17. So I was really happy to get everything else with it. Great deal. As it is Rob Reacts channel and not Charlie Reacts, I better appear in this video. So we also got the Bertie Beetle because so many people 
were telling us to get them to try. They said we couldn't go to the fair without getting mm. these, the show. They did the have the bigger show box, uh, show bag, which had, you could either get a big tin um, or you could get a big mug as well. But with the amount of space that we've got available to take home, we thought we'd better just get the There were so many other show bags we could have got Crack today. Up. I know, I know. But space wouldn't allow. Right, I get us one each? Yeah, we'll have one each. I don't actually know what these are is the interesting thing. I have no idea. What is a Bertie Beetle? I'm assuming it's chocolate. Just looks is it like chocolate? looks like chocolate to me. Looks, Has it got some it's got something inside, I think. Has it? It better not actually have a beetle in. I'm, I don't understand. Is it just chocolate? I really don't, um, why did we have? I think it's just cheap chocolate. I think it is just cheap chocolate. It just tastes like chocolate. Okay, now that we've tried that, I'm going back behind the camera. So that's all the show bags we got. I'm actually a bit sad that I couldn't get more, but because of space, we'll have to move on from that, but in the comments, let me know what your favourite show bags are to get. Are there ones that I should have got that I didn't get? Um, so I know for next time, you never know, we might be back in Melbourne for another show or in another city for a show. But if you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe. And if you want to see more videos from me, let me know. I'll see you next time.